So okay guys, this is our ECG controller. So this is the one who control our speed for now for but uh, meanwhile I'm going to do the wiring for this and where we can install this one uh, temporarily because we are going to study this one how we will make it the configurations and how it will work on this uh, generator so hello guys uh, we're now going to install for our 400 series uh, electronic governor for this one is uh, 20 kVA so now we're going to remove the solenoid so we can uh, install the electronic governor for this uh, generator so first thing we need to use some tools in order to remove this solenoid uh, like that Now we can rotate it from our side. Let's rotate it ah. counterclockwise uh, to release the uh, stop solenoid. This is the stop solenoid for that. This is the stop solenoid for our 400 series. So we just remove the uh, gasket for this so we can put it in the other one okay <coughs> so this is our actuator that we can replace for that solenoid so as you can see this is the one we're going to install and we're going to put it back the gasket so we will make it sure that the fuel will will not comes out once we um, put this actuator so this one is the one who push for our fuel system how many percent it can give when the time of uh, load or synchronizing so we'll just insert the side make it sure that you are in the right uh, thread so it's very so let's rotate it properly yes. make it sure that uh, the wire will not damage uh, during the uh, installation use your hands uh, to rotate this uh, solenoid so just a little tight to make it sure it is tight properly so do not uh, tight it more maybe this one is only plastic uh, for the thread so we install already so next is we're going to install the um mpu or the magnetic for this okay so here we have the two slots here for our magnetic pickup we will try to uh, use either this one or this one for our installations for our mpu or the magnetic pickup we will try this one here so i think it's much easier or which way is more easy we will try I think this one is okay so just remove the cover so here as you can see we have here the pliable teeth inside so now this is the Perkins uh, MPU that we're going to uh, install so this is the one just remove the cover so here is our MPU. Let me check if it's in the correct thread. Okay, so you know if you know already how to install the magnetic pickup, so just comment down below. If you don't have idea, I have here and uh, my YouTube channel. 
so you can also apply how to install this if you are the one who are uh, doing the installation so first you have to insert full insertion so after it is touching to our uh, flywheel teeth so we need to make some marking so now i put some i i, I mean i get some marker so i can uh, uh, put the marker from here so since we are already uh, attached to the plywood teeth so i will put the marker on this side for our references okay so now i will uh, rotate it back 360 uh, backward okay so now we're going to rotate it backward and okay so that's it then now we can tight it tight it back mm -hmm. so you need some tools on this in order to tight okay so for a while i will take some tools to tight this one okay so this is our pin so we can now do the wiring for uh, this uh, ECG controller okay so now we're going to prepare our um, wiring so, so over here this will first is we need to connect for our supply for this so just remove the insulations take uh, our pin so, uh, we have the pin here I think this is all the same so we are going to insert it kailangan pala dito ng ano maliit na wa, wa kable so kuha ka nga dyan ng ano uh, 7 tsaka 5 malaki yung kable natin so the cable is uh, a little bit bigger that is the problem just reduce it so we can crimp it hindi um, makakaabot yung crimp wait Oh, irabin mo yung kay Gary na crimper yung ano lang. Yung green, yung ginamit natin. So, this is our positive. So, we're going to put it positive over here. So, here is our positive. 
and the other one is our negative so yeah this is our negative this is our negative So for our negative supply, it's supposed to be in the G connections. That is number uh, G number four. So we're going to find which uh, here one two three four. So here is our number four. Um, we're going to insert it. Yeah, it is uh, lock already. And our positive is um, that is G number nine so g number nine we're going to search is this is four five six seven eight nine so nine is over here we just insert it properly enter you here click yeah that is luck already so we have already the positive and negative okay so these connections is our for our actuator so this number is our standard here 4445 so this is our connections for our actuator so. oops yeah sorry no patay patay extra nito So our kunin mo yung isa pre ay ito. Kunin mo ayan. So our positive is G5. So G number 5. So 1 2 3 4 5. So this is number 5 for our actuator supply positive. So I just insert it. Yeah. And for our um negative supply for our actuator is ano what is the number there negative supply actuator 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 so negative is g9 g8 so our actuator negative is g number 8 G number eight. So eight, we need to count it here. Where is number eight? So this is six, seven, eight. So eight is here. Okay. Huh. Uh -oh. Now we are done for our supply for and uh, a tweeter. So next is our magnetic pickup connections, and uh, we're going to make the wiring. So for our magnetic pickup, so the positive is uh, number uh, eighty, so it should be connected to G number. 10 g1 number 10 so g1 number 10 is over here just insert it properly and our uh, negative is connected to our g1 number 3 so it's over here so that is our connection for our um, magnetic pickup so here is our connections so the last one is
we're going to connect the end for this one going to our connections to our MPU and the uh, governor so at this side this is earth going for our uh, connector which is going to our uh, actuator so this is now our connection to our actuator so 4445 so this is for our speed trim this 3 wire here so I'll just put the numbering for this so our number for speed trim is we are going to connect at G2 so we have G2 at 11 G2 at 12 and G2 at 2 so that is our numbers from here so we'll take a look from our speed governor uh, controller I mean so number one is over here Let's start so like that so that is number one so we have here G2 so one and two we can connect from here G2 okay insert after I will put the numbering for that so we have the uh, G212 so G212 so G212 gawan mo ako ng number G212 and we have the G G211 so this is our connection for the speed trim so here we can connect for our uh, biasing for the speed so okay it's uh, a little bit difficult to insert but anyways it will insert back so here is our connections okay so now we'll try to insert yeah and give me the numbering bro or huh so number 12 is 40 46 47 46 47 here is our number for the analog input 46 47 so we'll just try to connect for our connection yeah it's like that bro give me the cover for this yan 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 yung ano yung yung yan yan okay thank you uh -huh. so now we can connect from i i go to So this is a connection, I think, yeah. So it's over here, it is locked already. So that is uh, temporarily well connected. And I'll just remove these tools. So I will make the connections for our supply here yes, to crimp it and uh, also we need our connections temporarily from here so we have positive and negative so we can insert from here the connections our negative over here and for our uh, positive also so we'll try to uh, check connections this 
one is positive here or just taken over here so it's got two wires okay so now I'll just make some connections temporarily for our negative Yeah, bro. Ah. You config voltage, the cities. frequency, and check the city and the total current. This one will change also, right? connections so we can check 